Transportation has really changed a lot in the last hundred years. Yeah, we've gone from the uh, horse and buggy days uh, to uh, Henry Ford's Model T uh, to the muscle cars of the 70s and uh, now the new modern reliable but uh, somewhat boring uh, mass production cars. So how different is this uh, new Tesla Model Y to those old technology cars? Well, uh, yeah, I'll be sharing my driving impressions and see what the likes and dislikes. Uh, but uh, EVs are kind of the wave of the future. So first off, let's get started with some comments from the younger generation. On Father's Day, my son and his girls came over. So we all decided to go for a test drive. You getting the shoes on? <laughs> So you guys are all ready to go, huh? All right, cool. Okay, ready? Yeah. Where we go? Ooh, turn the wheel. Oh, oh, no, 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 Oh, we went too fast. Slow down. Oh no! We crashed. Let's go. Okay, you drive. Oh yeah, no! Oh no! Boom! 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 <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh no! Oh, right into the. Th All right. Anybody else want to drive? I do. All right. Come on up. Are you a good driver? You can try to turn the wheel. Oh no! We're in the water. We're headed for the shore, Grandpa. Okay, we're doing good now. We're doing a lot better. All right, I think we're done with the game. Okay, first time in a Tesla? Yeah, well, I've ridden one, I haven't driven one. Put your on the brake, and then push the gear shift down. Yeah, oh. bounce and drive. And off we go. All right, man, it's very quiet. Yeah, and the regenerative braking, when you let off on the uh, gas, mm -hmm. it'll come to a stop yeah, okay. by itself. It's like a stick shift with a very sticky clutch. Yes. It actually oh, yeah. comes to oh. a stop and just holds <laughs> it right there. That's yeah, pretty good. Let's go get a feel for the uh, right sweet spot on the gas pedal. It's very blissful when you're sitting at a stop. Yes. There we go. Step on it for one or two seconds. It goes more back. Yeah. It's a little adjusting I used to looking over here for the speedometer, yeah. Oh, yeah. I looked down, I was like, oh, there's over there. And for the self steering, you just push this down twice quick. You can do it anytime. Uh, now it's got to go one more. This has got to turn blue. Now it'll it'll steer itself. Turns on the cruise control too. Yes. Yeah, it's a little, little nerve wracking when it's going like 50 miles per hour around a blind turn like that. <laughs> yeah. How much do I trust this thing? No. Well, yeah. yeah. There. Oh yeah. I'd better pick up on this thing. Oh yeah. It's like 350 horse supposedly. Pretty smooth high speeds too. Mm -hmm. Not too much vibration or anything. Yeah, it's a very nice drive. It's kind of very smooth. The uh, acceleration news you press the pedals, no like kind of. Yeah, no, it's none of the torquey stuff from the yeah. engine. A little button uh, pushing. Yeah, you're done. Yeah. All done. Very nice. All right. So what cool. do you think? Yeah, pretty neat. I like it. When I rent the car, and it doesn't really matter what kind it is, uh, yeah, it just takes a few minutes to get used to it, to figure out where all the gears are, the controls and everything, so it's all pretty straightforward. Uh, but yeah, well, this car is a little bit different. But even so, uh, yeah, it's a lot easier to transition than going from a horse to one of those Model Ts back in the day. My first Ford was the kind that, yeah, after 90,000 miles, the engine starts burning oil, body panels will start to rust out from the salt on the road, uh, and every time you stop for gas, you had to check your oil because you had to add a quart about every other tank. 
Uh, anyway, but the good thing was they're pretty cheap and it got me around with a little bit of maintenance. But it was nowhere near as nice as this Tesla. Uh, things I like about this car is I really like the one pedal driving. You can just accelerate by pushing it down, you let it off, the regen starts to brake you and it comes right to a stop and holds it right there. You don't have to worry about uh, creeping through an intersection or whatever type thing. So it's very nice to use and I really like that. Uh, another thing I like is the auto steer. So when you get your cruise control going, the auto steer keeps you right in the lane. So that gives me a chance to look around a little bit, see what's going on, check the screen, see what's going on, that kind of stuff. And uh, now when my wife says, oh, look at those flowers, I can actually look without driving off the road. A couple other things I like is the uh, use of the cell phone with it. I can check my range and stuff on my phone. The instant torque is great too. When you want to pass somebody, it just goes right there. You don't have to wait for the engine to downshift, build up torque, or if you've got a turbocharger, for the turbocharger to spin up. So yeah, it's kind of instant and it can get you in and out just as you need it. It's also nice not having to go to the gas station and uh, wait in line at Costco for yeah all the cars that go there. And uh, no maintenance is a really positive too. Uh, I really like that. Uh, some people have reported some quality issues with their Model Ys. Uh, I haven't really had any. I mean, everything looks fine. It's not really that I'm that picky, but uh, you know, I've washed it a few times and it, the paint looks good. I tried to put on some of that uh, clay bar stuff, but there was no dirt in the paint. It was smooth, so I'm happy with that. So that brings us to some things that, yeah, they could improve on. One is, in the sun here in California, it just gets really hot inside. There's glass everywhere from the windshield to the roof to the uh, hatchback seat. type thing. Yeah. 136, seat back, 147, the dash. Ooh. The other thing that's really annoying for me is those warnings in the auto steer. You can have your hand on the wheel, and I do, but every 30 seconds is telling me, oh, you need to uh, you know, move the wheel or something. So I have to kind of move it and shake it type stuff. It's like, I got my hands on it. It'd be much better if they had a camera or something like that or a touch sensor so that all you have to do is touch the wheel and it knows that you're still there and awake. So maybe they'll improve that in the future. But, uh, yeah, I think it's a little annoying. Maybe I'll get used to it. Who knows? Another thing that's a little too hard for me is the ride. Yeah, I guess you could say it's sporty, but uh, I'd rather it was a little bit more comfortable. But uh, yeah, I can deal with it. But it's sort of more like a sports sedan uh, than a family car to me. So as far as the colors go, yeah, they don't have a lot of choice of colors on the outside. I picked a gray and I'm okay with that. That's fine. But uh, the black interior, yeah, it uh, gets pretty hot in the sun. And uh, some of these uh, console was really glossy and it kind of shines in your eyes if the sun is hitting the right place so anyway I'm gonna have to do something there uh, maybe put some panels on or put on a matte finish or a wrap or something like that another little point that you might not know is the 316 miles EPA rating yeah that's an EPA rating and you're pretty much not gonna get that uh, I think I'm gonna be going a couple hundred miles between superchargers uh, when we drive and uh, yeah then I'll be uh, refilling there because uh, you don't want to run it down too low or get up there too high uh, but it is really nice to charge at home. Uh, I got my level 2 charger hooked up, so I can charge that on the weekends, whatever. And I'll probably only have to do that once every week or so, because uh, we don't really drive that much miles during the week. The other minor complaint I have, and yeah, I take this with a grain of salt, but uh, as I said, I've only had this a few weeks, but a lot of these controls, I really don't know exactly how to use them. For example, the air conditioner. Yeah, uh, you can push these buttons. Sometimes it seems to come on, and sometimes it doesn't, so... It's going to take me a little while to get used to it. Uh, and also, I'm not sure how the wipers work. Maybe it's the camera that senses water on it or something. But, uh, of course, uh, it hasn't rained for a while. But, uh, anyway, I'll have to see how that works. It's not it's not that easy to find. And speaking of that, why don't they have a button for the glove box? So you have to push the button to open the glove box? So I do it. I have to go into this menu system to open the glove box. That sounds a little strange to me. I mean, it doesn't going to cost that much to put a little latch there. So, uh, yeah, no one don't really understand that. The other thing that people always struggle with is how to get out. Uh, it's not too obvious you have to push this button to get the door open. Just to drive this, you actually have to tell people how to work it. 
So some of this has just been used to it, so it's not really a major beef. Um, overall, I'm really happy with the car. It's fun to drive, and I like driving it. The biggest drawback to getting one of these now is the price. Yeah, they're kind of expensive. So those are some of my likes and dislikes. Uh, next up is probably some customization. So yeah, I need to get some uh, tinting in here to keep the sun down, and uh, who knows what else. But anyway. Until then, this is Grandpa Ron, and I'll see you on the road. I was made to fall.